You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful, I feel we shall become great friends. That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry, I've no poison needle up my sleeve. I believe one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. Ah, oh, of course. What would you like to know? Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears in a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Loantil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. Quite a tome. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevisig was part of that team. Small world, and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Glevisig wishes Henselt to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. 
Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Hensel may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective runes to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunk foil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots, they're silver vases of Nazaya. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? I don't like people poking around in my life. Learning about others is my job. I must know the secrets of all who wish to approach the king. I've no problem admitting I like the work. My past has nothing to do with Henselt. You don't know that. Do you know why I have no friends, Witcher? Because sooner or later I learn all their secrets, which is followed by interrogations, torture, executions. Just leave my past alone. Did you get him? Sheila got to him first. He's dead. The bitch! She's probably on the other side of the mist by now. Come on, Witcher. We've got to remove that damn curse. I got the medallion from the king, the one you were looking for. Here. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Then there is a chance we will soon move against Edern, and you will recover your memory. I'll need your help, sorcerer, to find the right ghosts. Ah, they will find you. The artifact's aura will lure them. Allow them to think, speak, and act. Then you will know what to do. Geralt, there's something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It's changed. 
A drog. I expected as much. Ah. Good luck, Witcher. Slaughter the cat when he must! Wait. Time's not right. Sometimes I forget what we're fighting for. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why don't Demavend and Henselt duel to settle things? My brother-in-law is from Ketwin. A decent fellow. Once I was at a market there. Quality goods, cheaper than our merchants too. Bloody hell, shut it! Every Ketwini is a bastard! You know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn, and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Horse and sea! Atom! No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Get them! Catch on the enemy standard! in enemy hands. We're sitting ducks here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands.
the leader of the Dunbanner sent me. We were ambushed. We can't hold. Watch your scouts keenly watching the battlefield, Captain. Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was clear by day. Lady Glefesic scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hope. And you, Glefesic, I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too, and... I finished talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle! My lords, to your banners! Enter the fray! Maybe you finished with me, but that doesn't mean I finished with you. Nado How can we help you, Sabrina? My place at Hensel's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking Upper Edo. The balance of power in the north will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. That's all you've got! You're dying fast, like roaches under my boot! Is there a kid ready to match? Selkirk of Gallant on this field!
visitor! I've long awaited this meeting! Leave, Ghost. I'll not give up an opportunity to duel Van der Grift. He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave! This is a task for a Witcher, not a knight. I do this solely for my men. You have failed me! Who are you? <laughs> Your nightmare! more can there be? Sorceresses turn on them. Flaming balls rain from the sky, and destruction will be unleashed. What should we do? Wait here for death! I shall lead you as a shepherd leads his flock, safely from the dark abyss. Sire! Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, Your Majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning, they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, Lulmark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. Brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle was lost. You put me to shame before them of end. His troops fought like men of honor should. To the end, Sabrina Glevesig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn at the stake. I will return to claim my birthright.
July 25, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't die there, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Hmm. Finally awake? Where are we? In one of the safest places in the camp, my friend. The brothel? Mm-hmm. Did you come here to fuck? You gotta be kidding! My friend on his deathbed? I, I couldn't possibly do that. Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields, unconscious. The fog? Gone. Three days ago. Three days? You sure? Mm-hmm. In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Cedric was right. The power within the Battle of Spectres restores memory. Ah. So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the Wild Hunt. Who? Letho. Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the Wild Hunt. I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads. You drove off the Fog of Spectres. Hansel learned of the plot against him and Deathmold lost it completely. What did you mean when you said the Death Molds lost it? Hensel chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Death Mold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah. He always goes back to what he does best. Why has Hensel waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard, and that they'll get lands in the Pontar Valley. Hensel's agreed? Not on your life. He blew up, roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeldt, Kiram of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details, though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. I haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion, there's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Deathmold finds out. Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. Damn it, Dandelion. Game's over. Can't you see that? When Deathmold finds you, you've got to go somewhere far from the Pontar Valley. All right, I'll do it for you. I'll go to Oxenford, say hello to some of her old friends. But just as soon as this blows over, I'll come looking for you. I know. We have unfinished business to take care of. What now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First, I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave Dandelion. Hide, and I'll see you soon, old friend. <laughs>